Burns the troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic steel and clay Got hidden swords Riddles be praise Our gods pats in a wild erase It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Today, we are continuing our tabletop RPG series, known as The Fair Before the Foul, set in the universe of Artemis Fowl, but many hundreds and thousands of years before the events of the books. Uh, so, uh, let's get everything underway. Don't forget to grab some food, some snacks, and all that other good jazz. All right, good so night. we'll do a small little recap while we are waiting for the rest of the group to trickle in with an un for sure time frame. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is right. Though, so, uh, in the last session, you guys were... Uh, given orders by your centurion, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Yep, your centurion primus, Thor. Uh, to go eliminate uh, various groups of goblins trying to, like various tribes of goblins trying to gather to a larger conglomeration of goblins. Um, you guys ended up um, crushing the Skull Crush tribe <laughs> finding um, and rescuing a troll captive who was a female and also gathering a helmet with a R etched into it that it does not appear to be of goblin design or quality Yes. You guys uh, brutally snuck attack and uh, decimated the goblin tribe and broke their morale so severely that they scattered to the winds. Excellent. I like it when goblins scatter with the pants about their ankle. Yes. They say, ah! It and was then, uh, most entertaining to see them scatter before the might of our group, yes. Yes. And then the next goblin tribe that you guys are going to be able to intercept, we found out, was the Dark Fang tribe. Uh, yes. And uh, this is more of a diplomatic mission. Granted, all of the missions can be potentially diplomatic. Yes, uh, hmm. but... Specifically, we were asked to try and recruit this yes. individual. Looked like we had Arg for a split second. Ah, yeah, he, is he has returned. No. There's Arg. How are we doing tonight? 
We are doing fine. Are you ready for the recap to finish? So, uh, as the, the group is getting ready to go encounter the Darkfang tribe, that is where we left off. Uh, Arg having himself a female troll companion, and the rest of the group being uh, a bit high on the high on the horse for having uh, destroyed the first tribe of goblins relatively easily. Yes, it was a rousing victory for us, mm-hmm. indeed. That goblin chieftain got ran through. He was utterly yes. destroyed. The goblin chieftain taking a rock from Arg before being um, impaled by Garrett or by not Garrett. That's that's a different one. Uh, Gaiden, and then having his head lopped off by Gaiden. And then the rousing speech Sir Biddlesby gave to uh, break the morale. So, without further ado, if everyone is ready, we can get started on the next leg of your adventure. All right. Let's roll. Well, um, guide it. Yes. Uh, do you see uh, any like space that you could perhaps hover above and give us a, a call out when you see the Dark Fane's camp, please? Uh, well, I have an idea while we're down here. Um, I don't have any claws. Let's see here. Oh, what's that? Well, are you guys wanting to? basically set up an ambush or are you guys trying to I w- I would I would definitely like to uh, attempt negotiations and it has a bow. I'm pretty sure you do I have a sling I don't think it'll work for what I want to do oh well I only have this shield and gladius How high up is the ceiling? Sling. Um, in various like from, with you guys at the camp, the the skull crush camp, the ceiling's probably sixty to a hundred foot up. Oh well, then there's plenty of space for <clears throat> diamond to fly. Yeah, it yeah. just makes it hard for what I want to do though. Oh, because uh, I can't there, fly for too I will long. say there is five days until you guys will stumble into the the Dark Fang tribe. Oh, okay. Or the Dark Fang tribe will stumble onto you, I should say. Oh, totally <laughs> fine. Uh, yes, I, I desire to do diplomacy whenever we come into contact with this upcoming tribe of the Dark Fangs. Uh, good Sir Arg, I... Yes. I hope you uh, understand that uh, this next group of goblins has nothing to do with the food thief. You said use diplomacy. Yeah. Yes. So, I. I. I think. Which, Go ahead. Which limbs they get to keep then? For. Ideally, all of them are. 
diplomacy doesn't start with removing limbs? N no, good sir Arg. They, in fact, diplomacy is a way of resolving conflicts without having to remove any limbs. Arg looks at the other troll like, are you listening to this guy? <laughs> Uh, she gives you the look of, like, confused. I'm like, those are a lot of words. <laughs> um, so do, like, trolls have a language that they use that's more blunt, or... I would say uh, all, I would say all of the fairy folk have their own, like, their own language. They have their universal common which is gnomish um, but like elves still have their <clears throat> elven language pixies have their pixies I would say trolls also oh. have their own trollish language right now I <clears throat> forgot um, I don't speak trollish <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> this is the, the ritual right yep the ritual right <laughs> hey Oh no. Arg, Arg like goes to explain it to her in simpler words and he opens his mouth and like his face just goes entirely slack. Like Yeah. As soon I... as we finish with these goblins. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it's like if you knew multiple languages and then you forgot how to say a word in your original language and you're like Um I, I no longer remember how to speak my my native tongue. Arg is having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Something has happened to me. <laughs> uh, Arg, are you okay? You look... Trolls. Trolls speak trollish. Uh, I, I, and Arg is going to like he switches languages to fiend, and just goes into this massive like like almost freak out rant where he's babbling. Does anyone speak fiendish in the party besides me? Uh, no, I don't. Uh -huh. Nope. Yeah. So yeah, Arg just starts babbling in fiendish. And I gotta pull up the character sheet. Uh, yeah, uh, if any, because none of you guys speak fiendish, um, yeah, you guys just don't understand anything at all of what he's saying. It sounds almost like Mudman speak. Ah, uh. <laughs> but like, there, there's some sharp words in there that are not Mudman. So, so this must be the example of troll speak he's talking about, Gaiden. Pay close attention so we understand their words later. <laughs> Arg is going to walk away muttering to himself and shaking his hands and twitching like like the um, crazy homeless person kind of thing, right? Yes, Arg is very distressed. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, I need so... to. I need to get some pitten. Uh, are you needing to make a uh, move back to the the camp, the, the main camp? Um. Yeah. How many we days? Have well, how many days travel would it take us to get back to camp? It was a two-day travel to get to the to Skull keep her at right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that was with you guys being stealthy and like trying not to be seen. So you could probably get back relatively quickly because you're not going to have to worry Wait, as much. we're about. at Skullcrusher camp right now, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. No. Well, well there's right, nothing right. in Bars camp that I could use. Um, go ahead and make a <laughs> um, yeah. investigation check. 
We're we're about to go to Dark Fang. We haven't headed there yet. Right. Yeah. Make an investigation check. See what kind of okay. um, just generic materials the goblins might have had. Yeah, they might have some goblin bows and arrows and other equipment. Just one twenty. Um. A investigation check is a seventeen. Okay, so I, as you're like, like you guys went through the camp originally, and you you were looking for you know things of value, things that you might might want to take with you guys, <laughs> uh, and then now with you with you looking for more specific things, you're looking for a bow and some like pittons and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say you're able to find. Now they're crude, so they're like you know low quality, but like yeah, they're doable. It's not like a gnomish blacksmith made this or something, or you know, it's not elven craft. It's it's goblin. <laughs> Understood. It gets the here's job a question done. on that. Yeah. With the vast majority of to be able to hold uh, goblin five turns, yeah, the it, vast it ma- go ahead. But the vast uh, majority of goblin gear be fireproof or fire resistant, just because of the nature of goblins. Um, or are they too dumb for that? They are too dumb that. for that. <laughs> uh, they, most of the time, you'll see goblins not wear things like armor or. Um, they don't wear anything that can catch fire, usually from, like, the chest up. Probably because that's... Just already actually, <laughs> that is a really good question. Um, wasn't that goblin chieftain wearing metal armor? Yes. Yes, that goblin was. So, out of curiosity, was it heat resistant? Well... That I is a fireproof, good... but what... That is a really good question. Um, do you have blacksmithing as a trade? Uh, no. Alchemy and herbalism only. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell. <clears throat> like, not not without like actually doing some like severe stress testing of the armor, just because you can't like look at it and be like, uh, the craftsmanship is. It's not goblin, but you can't really tell if it's something where it's been conditioned to resist heat or not. Gotcha. That is a really great question. (laughs) But uh, you do find... um, Let me see. We will do... You find a goblin bow and you know, uh, probably 19 arrows and then for pittons a total of 9 pittons or things that can be used for pittons So are you guys uh, are you guys moving towards the Dark Fang camp now, or are you guys trying to like set up a a forward a forward observation? Yeah, I'm gonna set up. Um, so basically, what my idea is, um, guys, I'm over here. Arg. Arg. What? Okay, I'm glad I could have your attention. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, so when I when we go out here, um, we're I'm gonna have um, Biddlesby over here uh, set some pinion or some pittons into the ceiling, and then I'm gonna go up and hang on them. Um. Okay. Yeah. So once we get into place, we'll we'll drop a pinion. I'll hang on it, and I'll relay some. Uh, some information back down to you guys with some hand signals. 
Wait, how's Bills be getting up there to put the pinion in the? Yeah, that's the bows for. Oh. Okay. I okay. see. I okay. see what you're going for. I see we what all, you're going for. We all we all pick up that one. That is that is a good idea. Okay. I see what you're going for there, guiding. Perfect stratagem. Yeah, so I'll uh, make my flap up there, and right as I get up there, you drop that pinion just near me, and I'll be good. All right. I would like to roll to shoot a bow and arrow with a python attached to the end. All right. You. It, I it slap Ark bit... and I point at Fiddlesby. <laughs> so you you get ready. You aim. You roll your roll your attack to this. see if you make it all the way up to the the top of the cave. It is a goblin bow. All right. Here we go. And it's a plus four to attack. Here we go. Well, <laughs> that good, sirs, is an eight. <laughs> um, your first shot. Yeah, because you've not used the goblin bow, and it's not the best quality bow. You... I'm used to using a great sword and a chain or a shield. <laughs> right, so you, you aim and you fire... And you watch the arrow go up and make it, you know, maybe 70, 80 foot in the air. And then the arrow turns back down to the ground and... Eww. Hey, pull it back further. Um, I don't know. If I pull it back any further, this thing might snap. Uh, All right. I can try it again. Yep. Do Do your secondary shot. Um, if you get under a five, I'm going to say the bow breaks, just because bad quality. Understood, understood. 23, I rolled a 19. <laughs> okay, so this time you, you go, okay, well, I'll I'll pull it back a little further, and you, the, the wood creaks uh, unsteadily, like it's about to snap. And this thing to, like, feels like it's going to shatter! <laughs> You get it to, like, the max that it could possibly be pulled, and you launch, and you watch it, with perfect precision, slam into the ceiling. Ding. <clears throat> and be lodged. Well, what do you think of that? That looks pretty neat. <laughs> well, Arg points at the Python. Going up there, Gaiden? Yes, I sure am. Arg is going to pick up Gaiden and throw him at the ceiling. <laughs> okay, make make an attack roll. <laughs> Alright, so let's well, see here. First of all, do I, need to, do I need to grapple him or... I will say no, just for the sake of... Uh, perfect, perfect. You know, yeah, Gaiden whenever he grabs on him, I'm just like, oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> And then you just kind of I'm shot right. put him like a rock. Foo. I, I jump off at the end of his feet. Or at the end of his toss. Shot. Yes. That's a natural one. Alright, so as Arg you <laughs> oh, no. float back to him, Gaiden, and he, he goes to shot put you and He's he's expecting you to kind of like rest in his hand as you're still like floating there. His finger slides right in between your legs. And <laughs> whole hand misses you as he throws like goes to throw you up and it's just like middle finger brushes the inner thighs. <laughs> Goodness. I Are shake you, my shoulders. You I... throw Gaiden so hard you don't even see him move. Arg tries that again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I say hold on. Let's get in position. So I I um I crouch into his hands. Arg does, Arg does not hold on. 
argues <laughs> argues in a scientific mood. Yep. So uh, I'll give you advantage on the throw because Gaiden is now working with you. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah. So the first roll was eleven. The second was a twelve. So that's going to be. Uh, let's see. What's my combat mastery again? Um, right. Yes. Okay. So that'd be four. Sorry. Uh, sixteen. Okay. So six. Uh, Guy, you uh, at a speed that is uncomfortable for you um, are flung into the sky. Okay, I keep my wings wrapped around me until I I become more normal. Uh, Yeah, you see the uh, the ceiling approach rapidly. I uh oh gosh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh open my wings up a little bit but but try to like hold them like brace them with my hands so they i catch a little bit of air but not like let them go boosh okay then i need you to make a <laughs> okay how do i do that where is the saving throw thing <laughs> 120 feet in six seconds basically um <laughs> i'm gonna say make an ath not in athletics, in acrobatics. As you're trying to grab your wings and get your wings to reduce the speed that you're going while not injuring yourself. Oh, God. Um, so we've got luck, right? Nope. <laughs> no luck in this one. Oh, jeez. What am I not doing? Uh, you are doing... Uh, Acrobatics. What am I trying not to break? You're, you're trying <laughs> not to get back into the ceiling. Um, so, yeah, I stick my wings out a little bit, and it's not working. So I'm going to do more wings. <laughs> uh, what, what did you get on the roll? Three. Oh, oh yeah, you no. notice you notice the speed is the speed reduction is not not near enough. Like, not yeah. not near enough at all. Go ahead and make that check again, but with disadvantage, as the ceiling's getting a lot closer, a lot faster. But, uh, slower, but uncomfortably quick for, for Gaiden. <laughs> uh, the, the equivalent ew. of when, when the uh, people look like ants, everything's okay, but when the ants look like people, things are starting to get scary. Yeah, it's a two. Okay, um, Gaiden, you smack into the the ceiling yeah. next to the, the arrow. Um, you think he's coming in a little too far? Oh! Um, ouch. <laughs> as soon as I make contact, I'm letting the magic go hot. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Because as you hit, you take um, five points of damage from uh-huh. Arg's combat mastery of four, and the the one for impact. I'm bloody. It, <laughs> you are you are not feeling good, and you immediately go magic. It is, I gotta heal this. <laughs> um. um Fortunately, your wings aren't damaged. It's a lot of your pride and a lot of your chest. <laughs> That's a cracked rib. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely a couple of them. Alright, well I'm going to try and maintain as much height as possible and catch myself. Oh yeah, well like you smack into it and like you can see the arrow with the pitten and you're like, Ow. You you heal yourself and just grab the arrow and you're like okay. <laughs> All right, so I've I've got arrow. Ugh. And right. I assume you're doing this when the when the dark fang tribe is getting close. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so probably when we're days. about three four hundred feet out. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's been a couple days since yeah skull crush tribe's gone you get everything set up and ready to go you you see them on 
You see them marching forward, um, a loose formation, um, no scouts. They're not doing anything to signify their arrival. Yeah, like they're just, they're, they're walking through, um. They, they just don't seem to be bothered by, you know, other goblin tribes or anything that might potentially come out and attack them. They seem to be pretty okay and uh, unperturbed to the point where they don't even put out Ford scouts. Her. So you see, like, the main body of the goblin tribe coming. This is either fortuitous as they are so strong, they don't need scouts. Or, this is most grave, as they are too stupid to send out scouts. So, I, I flip a coin. Well, what are what is the plan moving forward? As Gaiden, you're able to see this from... A considerable yeah. ways off. Yeah, let me uh, let me see what we got around here. As my eye starts to swell. <laughs> How visible are the sparks? Um, not super visible, especially the fact that you're basically attached to the ceiling and people aren't really looking up yeah but if it was if it was a lot of light i would i wouldn't like say it's a lot of light because it's beat, mostly in inside of you oh like it's, the light's not really dancing across to you as much as it's inside you because it's mostly internal damage you suffered <laughs> okay yeah, so crack coming through my skin terrible. just a tiny bit but not not enough to be noticeable that Okay, so one of these things. Helkins. Big Helkins. Is it an awareness? Or investigation? Um, I would say awareness. Okay. And that curve. The 21. Alright, yeah, you can see, like, there's, there's no scouts. You can see the leader plain as day um, weirdly enough they all there's a, a large group of them that seem to be in relatively nice almost like robes <laughs> so we got some uh, some upper members here are they taller than the rest of the other figures uh, anything. not really taller. They carry around like, like big sticks. Okay. <laughs> Almost like big walking sticks for them. Some ritual figures. Um. Okay. I mean, you still you see like you know, a large cohort of the goblins are standard goblin. Yeah, most of them are dragging along like the 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 gear and stuff that they're bringing, like their camp supplies, stuff like that. But the main ones out in front are the the ones that you see with the, the sticks and the nice clothes. Are you going to um, come down about how many of them are there of the um, like the general fighters of the general just regular everyday fighters you are probably dealing with 24 okay of the uh, guys with sticks and robes dealing with uh, six Hands of those. Sore. do I see the chieftain yeah you see the chieftain 
Okay. He has a big hat. He has a big hat? Yep. Like, with plumes of some large bird. Okay. Alright. Do I see any information being relayed to me on the on the ground from Gaiden? <clears throat> Are you relaying this information down to yeah, uh, Biddlesby? I'm squinting. I'm squinting. Squinting. Kind of like Kind of like using my hand to use the a pinpoint um, optical trick to try and get a better picture. Um, okay, so I switch hands and then I look down uh, at um, Biddlesby to see if he's ready to receive. I'm looking right <laughs> up at Gaiden. Right. I give uh, two fingers. Um. And like I, I make a, like a, a circle of five. Okay. And I do that twice. I turn to I, I, I turn to Arg. So I'm describing that, but I turn. To I assume Arg. you're giving just like standard like hand signals that you that you guys are familiar with in the in the military. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you described it. I'm just making sure that that's what you're doing. It's just yeah, you know, you're relaying the information using hand signals. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was just gonna go off of the description and be like, "Arg, there's 50 of them coming." Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do that too. <laughs> no. You know, uh, guy, he gets a little excited. <laughs> he does. He does. Yes, two Sp squads. <laughs> yep, I two. two. Oh, I didn't know how else to make a squad. No, you're fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> and then I make a, a big uh, fan with my hand. Um, and then I place it on my forehead. And I scoop back and I make a muscle sign. And then uh, I sign one. Ah. One big guy with a furry head. I think I read his lips correctly, and I shake my head, or I nod yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then I do, um, um, I do a f five, and then I do like, um, I hold a stick off to the side, and I straighten my back out, and I like, kind of shake my head back and forth with a puffed up chest I didn't quite catch that last one I'm going in there <laughs> I'm going in <laughs> I'm going in to, the, to talk diplomacy with the dark fangs Arg look intimidating or hide in ambush um Arg hide in ambush in case something goes bad and by something goes bad, I mean they start attacking me. Okay. Alright. Arg, make a stealth Attacking you is bad? Yeah. Yes, Arg. If I am attacked, that is a bad thing for me. Oh, for you. Okay. Alright. Arg, make a stealth check. Stealth, 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 stealth. Where are you? Um, there you are. Gaiden, what are you going to be doing as you watch Biddles be nice. uh, move forward? Um, I am ah. going to go into a, a flight hover. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, reach into my pocket and pull out a bit of uh, rope. I'm going to tie it onto my belt. And then up onto the pinion, pitten. Okay. So, um, just a quick question on the check. Do I add, so I have proficiency in it, but it says save next to the proficiency for it. So does proficiency only apply to saves or does it work for checks as well? It works for checks as well. Okay, so it would be the roll plus my agility plus two. Yes. 
Okay. So that'd be 21. Okay. Uh, as, as Middlesby, you say, Arg, get ready for stealth again in, in case I get attacked. Um, you, you watch as he, again, flashes uh, this odd color, and then he is invisible again. I've got to figure out how you're able to do that. Uh, Typical you, trick for trolls. You tie off your you tie off yourself to the the pitten. Um, are you stealthing or what? Are, what are you doing up in the air aside from just hovering? Yeah. You're also um, stealthing. Yeah. As soon as I uh, have we have, have we developed um that one thing yet? Stealthing. Shielding. The, the, the what? Shielding. Can we? Yeah. I don't. I don't think. I don't think we have. Probably. No. Yeah. No. That's that's a that's a technological development. That's part of the outer layer of the LEP suit, not an actual magical ability. So yeah. No. That'd be that'd be about fifteen hundred years away. Okay. Oh no. At least according to book lore. Just... <laughs> no, it is. What were you saying, Gaiden? Uh, yeah, I'll just pull myself up to the rock um, by the rope as much as I can. Okay. Uh, on the other I... hand, though, um, camouflage has definitely been invented at this point. So, so like trying to make it so you blend in, or like a cloak that flips and one side mm -hmm. is camouflaged, that would not be illogical. Oh yeah, well, that, that's the amazing thing about Gaiden up there is uh, as he gets as he gets in the, the shadows, he is really hard to see. So you can make yeah. that stealth check with advantage. start crawling across the, the ceiling and you're pretty well hidden. There's still the faint glows under your skin, but not nothing big enough to be seen that well. Yeah, how do I feel, by the way? You're feeling a lot better now. Like, some of those some of those internal bleedings were probably kind of severe. It'll be fine. Okay. But so, yeah, we, like, we out of five, it. how would you rate that experience? Um, out of five, <laughs> I would rate that um, about a three out of five. Okay. At the moment, you are still healing. It's just yeah, you yeah. didn't want to do a lot all at once. <laughs> enough to take the edge off, and enough to make sure you're not, you know, uh, precisely injured too bad. Just to make. Just to make sure your internal organs are still, you know, in one piece. Functioning properly. <laughs> you are not jelly. <laughs> All right, so you you creep along the roof. Uh, Arg is invisible and is moving around doing his stealth thing. And then Biddlesby, you're walking up to I'm... this individual with a big hat. I'm... Yes, Feathers. I would. I would like to, uh, as I approach, uh, yell out uh, in Goblin, uh, <laughs> which is uh, a typical Goblin greeting. Okay. Uh, you walk up. You you speak out in Goblin, which takes the Goblins back a little bit and and the leader walks up to you and in gnomish um you know the common tongue yeah um the accent's a little off but it's it's suitable ah why thank you i had a bit of time studying your language 
found that it's not bad. It's interesting. It could to... could have some work still, yes. Yes, yes We yes. all learn. Uh, what can I do for you, um, fine soldier? Why, it is more what we can do for you. You see, me and uh, my associates that I am with, I'm sure you can tell by my armor that I am with the... And I say what regiment I'm, I'm with. Yeah, you, you, give, you give your legion standard, but yeah. Yeah, what, who, what legion you belong to. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... It has come to our attention that multiple goblin factions mean to join up and rally. Uh... The Skull Crushers are dead. I just kind of like wait to see how their response to the skull crushers are dead is. Um. Okay. Uh. Give me a insight. Can I roll one too since I'm in the area. Yeah, you can roll one as well. Ooh, here we go. I'm good at it. All right. Apparently not that good at it tonight. Twelve. Um, he looks. He looks taken aback at the fact that the Skull Crush Clan has been uh, defeated. And uh, it happened so swiftly. Uh, I'm sure you've heard rumors of a ravenous troll eating goblins hither and thither in the tunnels. I mean, rumors are uh, rife of trolls eating goblins. It's not the most uncommon thing that has happened. What have I said that this was at the behest of the Legion? Um, I don't believe you. <laughs> well, he rolled really low on his inside and he, I this, don't believe you that's fine if you don't believe me for you see seeing is believing and I kind of like say that as like a big opener for <laughs> for Arg to show up do you um, remember that insight check I rolled uh huh yeah I guess what I rolled? A one? I rolled a one. Oh, I no. did, in fact, roll a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. You feel, you, the, when you look at this goblin who looks a little taken aback by the Skull Crush clan being killed, you see he is, he is terrified at the raw carnage that Arg inflicted upon those goblins. <laughs> Um, you know that trick where, like, uh, uh, you tap somebody on one shoulder and then move to the other side, right? Uh-huh. Arg is going to do that, but just stay invisible behind him. Okay, so you, you tap the goblin on the shoulder, it looks over, and then you're on the other side, but still invisible. <laughs> you know, I don't even move, I just stand behind him and tap him on the shoulder. Oh. Same trick, but I'm invisible, I don't need to move. Okay. So you, tick, tick. he turns. There's nothing there. Um, and then he looks back at Fiddlesby and goes, "That's an interesting trick that you have there. Not quite a, a troll, but an interesting trick nonetheless." Well, um, it would. Uh, okay. It would seem he's a. Hey, Arg. Tap tap. Are you tapping Biddlesby or are you tapping the goblin? I'm tap I'm tapping the goblin. Tap tap. <laughs> the goblin The third time turns around, he turns like, turns around, around completely to look 
and like I'm there, like nose to nose with him. Oh, okay, so you're I... de cloak. Yep. All right, so he turns right. around and then Fiddlesby, you also are kind of taken aback by the fact that Ark just suddenly is there and he is like nose to nose with the goblin. I'm now. like gesturing to like my side, like for him to appear, and he appears behind him. So I'm just kind of like, um, your panic takes hold behind Ark as the leader is now gone from vision <laughs> there is only there's troll now a, there's now a troll right there I killed uh, a food thief you, you tell the goblin you killed the food thief and the, go the goblin chieftain is uh, the moment you speak to him is surprisingly okay. Like, unnaturally okay with you being right there. And goes, ah, you, you killed the food thief. Completely unfazed. Arg seems to think you do not appreciate the grandeur of his feast. He, he pokes his head around you and goes, waves to the goblins and like tells them to back up. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns back to you, Billsby, and goes, I stand corrected. You do seem to have quite a interesting companion. Yes. I was going to walk off and sulk because he didn't get a response to his prank. <laughs> <laughs> As, as you can see, uh, we have the power of a troll on our side, and many more goblins are just going to come to the slaughter. I have heard tale of your valiant efforts and battle prowess, even as my tour at, and I say, some goblin village. <laughs> hey, well, thank you for the flattery, but I'm not much of a, as you say, fighter. I'm, I'm a peacekeeper of sorts, so, uh, as you've noticed amongst, I will say, most of my kind, there's a surprising lack of, um, Intellect and decorum. <laughs> Sophistication is what I was going to say, but yes, the, the, you are correct in that. Well, it seems that we're having a moment where we could use some peacekeepers. Well, uh, you have already <clears throat> claimed to have killed one of the other tribes. Is peace really what you are after here, or is it to subjugation and control? Uh, peace through subjugation by rule of law. Uh, law, I can agree with. Subjugation is, um... It's a bit unpalatable. Let me put it this way. You have a choice. To be one of the two types of goblins in this new environment. The living kind or the dead kind. I would prefer you be among the living. She would prefer to be among the living. But I would also like to see more amongst the living than just myself and my small tribe. Well, 
help us convince the others that this is a good idea and less goblin bloodshed will be done. I can help best I can. But I must also make a, a particular point of, um, what would you call it, uh, contention. That you are not the first ones to utilize troll power. Arg is going to call for the other troll. You you call for the other troll. The, the other troll just kind of like comes out from behind like a, like a wall of the cavern, and the the goblin looks and sees a second troll appear and is astonished. Arg did some recruiting with the Dark Fang, oh, with the Skull Crush. He said Skull Crush. He can't prove otherwise. <laughs> he looks and goes, Ah, oh, I knew they had captured a troll. I didn't realize that uh, you you all you all have a new friend with you. Hmm. But that is not who I mean. You might be pleasantly surprised to know that my diplomatic ties give me um, information that comes from far off. Oh, do tell. Do tell. Well, up north in the um, the Rustlands, uh, there, there, be, there is it's rumored, but it's credible rumors, that um, there was a wild tribe of dwarves who have begun making sport of trying to Mount and ride trolls. Like, as soon as he says dwarf, Arg gives, like, a full-body shudder. Really? Okay. They're rumors. Incredible rumors, but rumors. And you know how rumors have a way of, um... Well, exaggeration, but there's always truth in rumors. Her. But that's that's far to the north. But an interesting little tidbit, especially amongst. And he puts his hand out. Friends, allies, even. Mm. I reach out to like shake his hand. And, and before your hands actually meet, he goes. I will require a small. Um, what I've got this. Say, um, do I do I hear the conversation that far? Are you? Are you're you? You're like a hundred feet. Yeah, you're you're up in the air. So I've, have you ever I've, been in a cave? I mean, that <laughs> is also true. You you might hear the parts of the conversation. He goes as the first tribe of goblins to uh, willingly join the legions and even embark on these negotiations to bring even more goblins into the fold and thus reduce the effectiveness of the the iron spike horde um, certain provisions would be expected, obviously. Provisions. What do you mean by this? I mean, like, maybe, let's say, as, as such an integral missions to bring goblins into the fold of the, the folk, maybe perhaps myself and various members of my tribe might be elevated to a important position or like a level of prosperity that would give us influence so that we could um, keep the rest of the goblins in line and give them something to look up to. 
Arg, Arg snorts loudly. Only Eddie would, would think that anyone but Goblin could successfully crawl Goblins. Goblins need Goblin leadership. This is true. That's why if I'm not exactly in a important role, but important enough to be warranted for outsiders being integrated into the, the larger society as a whole. As a whole. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I can tell you, as far as my word carries, this shall be done. Which means your suggestion to your superiors? Correct. He sticks his hand out with earnest of... That sounds absolutely spectacular. Alright. And I, I shake his hand. Shake back, hand. A, back of Biddlesby's head goes... Yeah, right. A goblin in leadership... Uh, but, yeah, the, the goblin seeing an opportunity to become the big boss. <laughs> and doing goblin plotting and scheming uh, says, you have two trolls and killed a tribe. I'm on your side now. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Doc Fangs recruited! Alright, let me see that. Bam. R. Okay. Give me a D4. A D4? A D4. I rolled a D4. It's a one. A one. Okay. The Bloodfang are the next tribe in um, line of you guys. The Bloodfang. Bloodfang. The sneaky sneaks. Are they also on the potentially to be recruited list? All of the goblins are on the potential to be recruited. However, they don't have to be recruited. They can be um, killed. It is completely up to you guys. Right, but what, there were two tribes that the uh, uh, commander specifically requested recruitment on. Yeah. Were they one uh, of them? Uh, I don't think so. No. I think the only ones that were really the ones that he wanted was the Dark Fang because they had the the healers and they were diplomatic. Gotcha. But, uh, oh no, it was the Skullcrush tribe was the other one that if you could bring them in because they had a troll, double the trolls. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we doubled gotcha. the trolls just without the baggage of the Skullcrushers. Right. So like. You, you, technically yes, but different, but yes. <laughs> That's enough. It, like a, a 75% yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got the important thing, which was the troll. Um, but the blood fangs are... Wavering. The blood fangs are three days away from your current position that you know of. Okay. So are you going to try and take the these goblins back to camp or are you going to try and ambush the ambushers? 
Let's, uh... Let's ambush the ambusher. Yep, the uh, goblins. Uh, you lead the goblins to where the. Um, is it the. Where is my thing? Uh, to where the Skullcrush tribe was set up at? Okay. Because it's it's close to the camp, uh, but you know, still gives you the ability to like go out and intercept the ambushers. Are you trying to ambush them where you essentially met the uh, uh, dark thing? Kind of, I like. I want to see if having the Dark Fang with us actually raises our chances of diplomacy. Okay, uh, okay so you're bringing, uh, you're bringing the Chieftain with you, okay? Yes. All right. You bring the Chieftain who's a little, a little nervous. Why are you so nervous, meaning the Blood Fang? Aren't you for diplomacy? I, I'm for diplomacy, but um, he he looks at you, Gaiden, Arg, and goes, "We are four." Looks back at the female troll. Five individuals. I feel a lot more comfortable with the whole tribe behind me. <laughs> But, uh... How fast can well, they move out? How, how what? How, how fast, fast can they move out? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the, the rest of the tribe can... We can go back and get them. It only take a day. Do but, we, I mean... That's... Do we see the blood fangs right there, or...? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm asking if you want to ambush them at the previous location. Right. Or if you're wanting to, like, find a new location to, to hit them from. No, I think this is, this should become the, like, this is where you talk to, talk to us for peace. If you push past this point, we're going to take you out. Okay. And I assume, Gaiden, you're, you're leaving, like, the rope so that you can climb back up without yeah. being launched into the into the ceiling again <clears throat> yeah okay so you guys are like okay well this is a, this is a good crossroads all of the goblins have to come through this area and we already have like a pre-established like you know guidance in the sky gonna come down and and wreck some stuff if he uh if it need be yeah it's better than, you know. um Okay, uh, so you guys are going to Biddlesby, the, the goblin, Arg are on the ground, and I assume Gaiden's in the up on the uh, pitten, just chilling. Yes. Okay. Arg is going to try and hide <laughs> again, of course. Okay, I, I will. I will let you keep your previous stealth, just because the it works with you going invisible. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and then you guys are waiting for the the blood fangs. Um, go ahead and give me an awareness check, everyone. Awareness. That's just prime, right? Yep. Prime plus two, actually, since I have proficiency in it. Seventeen. Seventeen for R. Fifteen. Fifteen for Gaiden. And we're rolling... Uh, awareness. Yeah. Nineteen. 
All right. As you're sitting there, um... Oh, 21, yeah. my bad. 21? Okay. Yeah, uh, you, you sit there and you're waiting for the this tribe to come by. Um, and you watch as a shadow, like, dislodges itself out of the darkness. Um, probably about 45 feet away. Uh, I call out in Goblin, there's no need for that. Uh, as you call out in Goblin, um, the, the, your Goblin negotiator, yeah. um, who, let me come up with a name real quick for that, because that's gonna bother me that I don't have one. That's fine. Um, so the, the goblin's name is Rugger. So, Rugger, with you. Uh, is, is startled when you say there's no need for that. Um, and spins around and sees the shadow that you've, you saw before anyone else. Yeah. Um, and you see him, like, pull back a, you assume is some sort of cowl from his face, and goes, what is a legionnaire using our tongue for in Goblin? Uh, I turn to the negotiator. Uh... Okay, you turn to the negotiator. What do you say to the negotiator? Tell him what I'm doing, speaking your tongue. Uh, so the negotiator looks over at the the new goblin and goes, "So this particular elf, and you can see the the negotiator is cut off by the goblins, like." Ooh. Quick mo movement goes. No, no, no. I asked you. Uh, why are you talking our tongue? And he's saying this all in Goblin, by the way. Okay. I, I sense the uh, the energy rising, and I undo my uh, rope. Okay. You undo your rope. And your stealth was a sixteen, right? Yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure before I... Oh, I didn't have it. I, uh... I say in Goblin. I know, I did. Uh... We're here to make friends and less bloodshed it's broke it's broken goblin towards the end yep 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 uh and he looks at you with um suspicion obviously and goes you're part of the legion who kills the goblins and tries to take our lands what do you mean you want less bloodshed? We have already had unfavorable dealings with a previous tribe. 
we have had favorable dealings with a previous tribe. We want to have favorable we want to have more favorable dealings than unfavorable. All like all in Broken Goblin. <laughs> okay. Uh, he, he goes, and what do you provide for favorable dealings? Another tomorrow. That's bold of you to assume that you can stop us from having another tomorrow. Your I, friend on the ceiling isn't near as sneaky as he thinks he is. Just because we have a sneaky friend on the ceiling doesn't mean he's the only person there. I assume not, but the fact that uh, we know that he's there should be concerned enough. We've been watching. Good. Only individuals of highest caliber should be uh, granted life in the Legion. Today I do decide to take up your offer. What do I get in return? A place of high authority in the new age. Make an influence check. With uh, advantage because of the goblin. Alright, alright. Here we go. Thank goodness with the advantage. Oh. oh, oh. With, if the first roll total would have been uh, nine. Oh. But since advantage, I rolled a 19 on the other dice. So oh. all together, that's 24. Yeah, he looks at you and says... You seem genuine, and you have friendly goblin with you. I know this tribe. This tribe has healers. I need token of goodwill from you. I'm thinking of what I have to offer. I give goblin bow. He, he shakes his... <laughs> no, no, no. Not... <laughs> he looks at you and goes uh, a common language amongst all of us and he gestures to the, the pixie up you and him we all speak one common language oh he want payment or food <laughs> you get the idea he he wants gold. Ah. He wants gold. How much gold do I have? Uh, you did find, like, I want to say it was like nine coins. Because Ard dropped his coins. I, I, yeah. Okay. I give... I give two coin to each goblin tribe leader. Okay, so you give two to the you give two to Rugger and then two to the, the stealth guy? Yeah. He takes the two coins and goes I do it in front of him to like show that I'm being equal with both tribes. Right, he goes, What's your name? You may call me Bittlesby. Give me good offer of goodwill. I shall work with you, Fiddlesby. My tribe 
good for uh, scouting and good for uh, well eliminating problems from behind him better than Arg let me uh with the deep bassy growl that is Arg's voice you watch him um, almost leap out of his skin <laughs> as he is scared almost shitless as he flies uh, Biddles B just kind of like gives a knowing wry smile that's like you can threaten all you want but we definitely had the power to make you not see it tomorrow because <laughs> what was that well some would say those rumors of hungry trolls weren't entirely rumors. Ah, you killed the Skull Crush clan with troll. Yes. Ah. And he just kind of like waddles up over towards where Art spoke. And he goes... And it's a sneaky one, too. How Arg do does the nose-to-nose nose trip. Arg does the nose-to-nose nose trick again. <laughs> Practice. He, he jumps uh, again. Uh, almost as bad and almost into Biddlesby's arms. <laughs> goes, I like this one. He looks back at you, Biddlesby, and he goes, I like this one a lot. He you definitely bitch. takes some getting used to. Uh, he he doesn't speak gnomish at all. He only speaks goblin. And he goes, he's, he teaches. He teaches us how. Great trick here. <laughs> um. Biddlesby doesn't know the word for perhaps. So he says... Yes and no. <laughs> or, I, I just I rolled again for the fun of it, and I got a um, total of 19 again on a stealth check. So Arg just does a little finger wave and then fades back out of view. Uh, the goblin is shocked when you when you do the like the faint glow. And he, mm -hmm. he claps, and he looks over at Fiddlesby and goes... Teach. Teach. <laughs> <laughs> um. And he pulls out one of the gold coins and goes, teach, and holds the coin at you. I, I, the, 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 the gnome in me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the elf in you? Yeah, the elf in me. The underground dweller. Yeah, is like, ooh, the gold. Teach. Teach. But but I can't guarantee that because I don't know how to do it. So <laughs> I I just repeat yes and no, and I don't take the coin. Yes and no, and you do you put you push the hand back to him. He goes, okay okay I we with you now. I like this one, and he points <laughs> to where Arg was. <laughs> yeah yeah. Oh, this is great. Big men, big men, good. Big men, hide well. He teach, we do job better. Uh, and he says it with like a mischievous uh, smile of like, yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would um, even, what would teaching somebody even be as a role? Um. Well, for you, it would be occultism. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, but yes. The art doesn't really know what he's doing, but he just... It works. 
Um, I get the so... chickens. <laughs> the chickens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, you you watch as like dozens of cloaked figures like take off their cowls and they make themselves visible as they were like, yeah, they were crawling up and stuff and were very well hidden. As you have a tribe of basically assassins. Nice. Uh, Alright. Before we get too far into the next one, uh, I'm I'm probably going to have to call it there. Okay. It, if that is where we're calling it, it has been wonderful. Yes. What mm-hmm. what an absolute blast and, and blessing to be with all of you this week for a, an amazing adventure. I hope everyone enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you were all just as blessed. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Watch the troll with strength of stone. Cave and mud is ancient home. Blending ages, milk and honey Folk with brass, the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic, steel and clay Got hidden swords, riddles be praised Our gods pass in a wild race It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Harpinger, twilight's call Dances through the midnight straw